Hallelujah. Rules and doctrine. Right. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Rules differ. That's right. Doctrine don't change. That's right. That's right. Rules and many organizations mm -hmm. have nothing to do with salvation. That's right. And because others are not doing what another organization have done, that organization frowned upon them. Right. There are differences of administration. Do you hear it? In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and at verse 5. Do you hear it? And there are differences of administration. Now, there's difference mm -hmm. in administration. But the same Lord. But even though you may differ in administ ad ad administrative rules. Right. But those rules may not conflict with the doctrine of the Lord. That's right. That's right. Some of you mm -hmm. say uh, the women, they can't be saved if they wear more than five colors. Mm -hmm. If you wear more than five colors, you are the devil. My Lord. He said the brothers, mm -hmm. you only can wear suits with no print. Right. If you got a stripe, you go to hell. If you got a plaid, you go to hell. Mm -hmm. And if your socks is any other color but white, you go to hell. My Lord. All right. Mm. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Jesus said the poor, That's right. you have which always. always. What about if a poor man, all he got is a pair of plaid pants and a striped shirt? That's right. That's right. And no shoes. That's right. And no socks. Yeah. Is he going to go to hell barefooted? My Lord. Pay attention. Pay attention. Of what you put people in hell for. That's right. That's right. Keep running, brother. Run to him. Run good. I want to run to you. Run to you. That's right. Go ahead. Run to God. Hey. Run it. Some of you won't accept me because there's a strike in my shirt. There's a print my Lord. in my tie. My Lord. And you said he's a false prophet. A false prophet. Because a man of God mm -hmm. won't wear a print. Mm. Then what was Joseph? That's right. He had a coat of many, many colors. colors. That's right. Go ahead, brother. I want to run to you. Run to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Rules and doctrine. Mm -hmm. Doctrine is written divinely inspired law. That's right. That's doctrine. That's right. Can't touch it. Can't touch it. Can't change it. Mm -hmm. You must repent. That's right. You must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You must receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Right. Jesus Christ is the one God. That's right. That's right. Get into doctrine. Mm -hmm. Rules. Mm -hmm. Service started at 11.30. All right. right. That's right. Rules. Men on one side, women on the other. Right. That's right. That's rule. Differences of administration. They have nothing to do with doctrine. No. We separate the brothers from the sisters for respectable purposes. That's right. You know, because there are some women come in and may not be born again, and there may be a brother who mm -hmm. may try to be born again, mm -hmm. and we don't want them to have no earthly distraction. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hello. Amen. Go ahead. Man. Amen. That's right. I want to run to you. Run into you. Mm -hmm. Will you go to hell if you're not separated? No. No. No, no. It's just a rule. That's the rule. It's not doctrine. That's right. When you come in here, no usher ain't going to argue with you because you want to sit with your man or sit with your... Go ahead and sit. That's right. Go ahead. We don't compel you. No. no, no. When guests come in, they want to sit together, fine. Mm -hmm. Sit together. Long as you get the word of God in you. That's it. 
That's right. Differences of administration. Difference mm -hmm. of administration. But the same Lord. Glory to God. And hold it. Mm -hmm. Difference in administration. Rules. Right. Rules. When I go to other parts of the world, mm -hmm. I'm exposed to various cultures. Mm -hmm. Our brothers and sisters in India mm -hmm. are not a wealthy people. Right. 99.9 .9 of them, when they come to service, mm -hmm. there's no shoes on their feet. That's right. Barefooted. Right. Some just have flip flops. Mm hmm. Some don't even have that feet dirty. I can't tell them you're going to hell because you can't afford a shoe. No. Jesus said the poor you have with you always. always. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Some of your organizations said if a woman's stocking is not cotton, yeah. she's lost. lost. <laughs> My Lord, a cotton stock can have nothing to do with salvation. That's right. It was a rule. It was a rule. But what about those who can't even afford a sock? That's right. That's right. Would you tell them they're going to hell mm -hmm. because they can't afford a sock? My Lord, rend your heart and not your garment. Do you hear the word talking? In Joel chapter 2 and at verse 13. And rend your heart. Rend. You see in the old time you had to tear your garment and cover yourself in sackcloth and ashes. That's right. Which shows humility. Mm -hmm. But now God is taking the church to a higher level. That's right. He wants to push aside the formality, the shadow. shadow. And now he wants them to demonstrate the good thing to come. That's it. That's right. He said what? Rend your heart and not your garments. Rent your heart. Mm -hmm. He wants your heart torn. That's it. You see, you preachers got it backward. Mm -hmm. You try to get the people dressed right and then saved afterward. That's it. No. no. The heart got to get right first. That's right. That's right. They let modesty fall in place. Mm -hmm. That's right. When a sinner come in the church where the word is being preached mm -hmm. and that woman come in with pants, let her come in. Right. Don't throw her out. That's right. You don't change the sermon and pick her out. Pick her out. And start now just talking about her. Go ahead. You're not in the spirit. That's right. Just focus on the word. That's it. Let the word clean her up. That's right. Go ahead, brother. When the heart. word clean her up, then she'll make a change from the heart. That's it. That's right. Glory to God. Rain your heart and not your garments. Difference. Mm -hmm. Of administration. Of administration. Differences. Mm -hmm. Hmm? That's right. When I go to Africa, I see all kind of prints down there. Mm -hmm. Big circles, big plans. Yellow, orange, they, they, they come into the house of God and whatever they got. Whatever they have, that's right. Don't have much, mm -hmm. but worshiping God in spirit. And in truth. And in truth. And in truth. If I was arrogant and self-centered mm -hmm. and was ignorant of the book, I'd go put him in hell. Yes, you would. That's right. Because they don't, they can't afford a stocking. Right. Or can't afford a shoe. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Difference. Differences of administrations. Differences. So what happened among you so-called apostolics? Mm -hmm. You say you'll be the colors of God. This is what they said. What the they colors say. of God is white, mm -hmm. black, brown, gray, and blue. Mm. Those are the colors of God. Colors of God. No, they are the colors of your organization. That's right. It's like a university, a football team. They got their own colors. Amen. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. You said the colors of God? Mm. What about the rainbow that appeared in Noah's day? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. 
And that was handmade by God. Handmade. That's right. I want to educate you so you can get off your horse of arrogance. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I want to run to you today. Run to you. Heard him read. Huh? That's right. Many lack understanding. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Someone had come in the assembly who don't look like them. That's right. And then church people shot them. Yes. Amen. Mistreat them. Yes. Go ahead, brother. Mm. One woman may come in with earrings. Yeah. Before she walked in, the preacher was preaching about faith. Mm -hmm. But the moment she walked in, mm -hmm. he changed the whole sermon and just talked about her earrings. That's right. See, if he was in a spirit, he had stay where God had him. That's right. That's right. Because in due time, God would get a hold of her. Amen. Go ahead, brother. There's a time and a purpose for everything under the sun. Under the sun. Everything. That's right. Go ahead. Why are you listen to the old man? In the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, and at verse 5, which says, Stand by thyself. This is the how you church people get. Mm hmm. A woman coming to church with pants on. Mm -hmm. A woman may come in with shorts on. Yeah. She don't know no better. That's right. Don't have nothing on her head. Come on in here. Mm -hmm. Got her lips painted, earrings big as my jacket. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Come on in here, girl. That's it. Hair dyed orange, hair dyed red. Mm -hmm. Come on in here. Come on in. That's right. Go ahead. Come on in here. Go ahead. Go ahead. What did it say there? Which say, stand by thyself. Yes, verse. Isaiah 65 and at verse 5. This is the way the church people get. Which? Most of them, and most of them that are like this are apostolic nuts. That's right. That's true. They don't have the spirit of God. No. It's an arrogant, self-righteous spirit. Mm -hmm. Listen how they get. Which say, stand by thyself. Come not near to me. Whenever a guest come to the church, it don't matter how they look, make them feel welcome. That's right. That's right. Make them feel welcome. Amen. If a gay man come in here, make them feel welcome. Go ahead, brother. It's good teaching, brother. Are you listening? That's right. Many gay men have came to the meetings, mm -hmm. walking up to the pulpit to shake my hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. I shake their hand. <laughs> huh? That's they don't right. take nothing from me. No. Don't take nothing from me. When guests come to the church mm -hmm. and you see guests, greet them first before you greet one another. That's right. Go to the guests first. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, she got on pants. Mm -hmm. Well, you ain't all right yourself. Amen. That's right. That's true. Everybody got some cleaning up to do. Everybody. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. The sinner don't come to the church. Mm -hmm. To be judged by the people. No, no, no. The sinner come to the church and let God judge them by the word. That's right. And when the word condemn them and correct them, then the sinner got to say, I am guilty. That's right. That's right. And then when that sinner is ready to move towards God, That's it. you ain't got to bother them. That's right. Send a woman coming to church, earrings, bracelets, ankle chains. The mothers in the church don't bother them. Amen. No, don't bother them. That's right. Good teacher. That God clean them up. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. If they take that stuff off because an old mother said, mm -hmm. that don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. <laughs> you will go home and put it back on. That's right. But if God clean you up, you take it off in there and leave it off. Yeah. That's right. That's right. mm -hmm. Let God build the house. That's it. That's right. Eh? That's right. If God do it, it's done well. Done well. Amen. Go ahead. Paul 
Paul said we ourselves were sometimes foolish. Mm -hmm. Disobedient. The seed. The seed. If a person come here and as a guest, you ask them to have something to say. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, church, I'm from Jimmy's Memorial Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. Jimmy. That's right. Let them testify how they enjoy the service. That's right. The minister don't come behind them and they want to blast Baptists. No. No. No, no. No. That's right. No. Just focus on the message mm -hmm. so everybody, not just one person, everybody can be helped. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, John. Go ahead, go ahead. Let the Lord build the house. The Lord. It's God's house. That's right. That's right. We shouldn't try to build it. No. Let God do it. That's right. And let the using of your instruments be according to the moving of the Holy Ghost. That's, right. That's it. Go ahead, go ahead. Mine. Put your message aside. Yeah. And talk from the inspiration of the book. That's right. Go ahead, brother. That's right, sir. Go ahead. Are you listening to the old man? In Isaiah 56 and at verse 7. Mine house shall be called in house of prayer. For God, God making a personal claim here. Mine house. My house. Shall be called in house of prayer. My people. For all people. For who? All people. Let them come in. That's right. Let the word of God clean them up. That's it. Why? They many don't know. Don't know. That's right. Don't know. Yeah. Don't be righteous over much. Over much. That's right. I mean, cause they don't look like you. Mm -hmm. And here, you tell them, listen, listen, this is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 65 and verse 5, which says, stand by thyself. This is how the attitude of many church people get when a sinner come in. Stand by thyself. Stand by yourself. Come not near to me. Don't come near to me. For I am holier than thou. Go ahead. We need an attitude adjustment. That's right. That's right. Change. Are you listening? Amen. Hmm. This is what the Holy Ghost is itemizing. Which say, stand by thyself. I want your apostolic to get this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stand by thyself. That's the way they get. Amen. You speak to some of them in the street. You say for some greetings or some may say praise the Lord or whatever. And some say, do I know you? Well, I know you don't. What church you go to? Bishop so-and-so. Well, you ain't with me. I ain't speaking to you. You ain't with me. I shouldn't be with you. I should be with God. That's right. And if you're with God and I'm with God and we got the same spirit, then we will be with one another. That's right. That's right. Hmm. You're not one ignoring the book. No, no. You gotta be one according to the book. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. You go to India, and some of the saints in India, mm -hmm. some of the saints in Africa, some of the saints in the Mauritius Islands, mm -hmm. and even some of them in South America. You will see a lot of the women. Most time, you won't see many of the women with a lot of the type of hats you wear. Yeah, that's right. A lot of ones in India, they have a head covered a whole different way. Mm -hmm. Whole different way. That's right. Sometimes that thing is so long it come across the head and throw across the back of their shoulders. Mm -hmm. We don't travel around the world to westernize nobody. That's right. We travel around the world to preach God's word to them. That's it. That's right. That's right. Mm hmm. Eh? That's true. They don't have to sing the songs that you hear in America. No. No, no. But as long as their songs are spiritual. That's right. That's right. It don't have to be the beat no. that you hear in America. No, no. Talk to me. Amen. But as long as it's moving by the Spirit. That's right. That's it. Glory to God. When I go to Africa, mm -hmm. brother, brothers and sisters, 
be moving. Mm -hmm. They be singing about God moving. Right. Just move everybody. Every, that's right. When I go to Jamaica, same thing. Mm -hmm. My God, we was preaching outdoors in Jamaica early this year. Mm -hmm. And we was in, in the town, had an outdoor meeting right in the center of town. Right. Folk was all lined up in the street, and Brother Gary was up on the platform leading the song. When I got there, he was on the platform just singing. <laughs> what do you mean? His culture. Yes. See, a lot of folk don't separate their culture from their music. That's right. That's right. What makes that music? Honorable in the eyes of God is when you sing with, with the, the spirit. spirit. Yeah. That's it. And sing with understanding. That's right. That's right. That's right. You blind preachers. You have sat here in America so long, you had no exposure to nothing else. Amen. So if you see something that looks foreign to you, right away you say, that's wrong. No. No, no, no. It's not wrong because you don't recognize it. Mm -hmm. It's only wrong when it violates the book. That's right. That's right. If you don't violate the book, it's right. It's right. It's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. To go to India mm -hmm. and see them worshiping God one way, one way. but yet it's according to gardeners. Amen. Go to Africa, mm -hmm. according to gardeners, Jamaica. There's so many different ways. That's right. And you see the different groups and cultures worshiping God in spirit and in truth. And in truth. Lord spirit. You go to England. Mm -hmm. Go to First Church in England. Mm -hmm. They all out of hymn books. Yeah. That's right. So and so, 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 so and so, so, so and so, so and so, so and so, so and so. That's so and so. Amen. That's true. That's true. Amen. That's true. That's true. That's true. I want to give you an understanding so your mind don't become like so many religious groups. Amen. When your mind become closed, yeah. you become borderline to a cult behavior. That's true. God don't set cults. God have a church. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Go ahead brother. Go ahead. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. Viewer, we will take God. We want to run right to you today. Yes. I was in Bronx, New York. Mm -hmm. We had a beautiful crowd there. Mm -hmm. Sister came and talked to me from an organization called the Holy Temple. Mm -hmm. She wanted to know was it wrong? Mm -hmm. I mean, do, if, do, am I wrong if I? We're outside of five colors. Am I just confined to a cotton stocking? I said, won't you ask your bitch? Oh, no. Mm. We can't ask. Viewers, you giving all these tithings? You giving all these offerings? Mm -hmm. You helping these preachers build churches? And you can't question them about what they preach? That's right. Why you got the right to ask questions? Amen. Even the disciples ask right. Jesus questions. That's right. That's right. What kind of man of God is that? Yeah. And you can't question him about what he preached. What he if preached. he say he got it from God, mm -hmm. he don't mind answering you. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Hmm. Right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Go ahead, brother. Rule. Rule your dress or skirt five inches from your ankle. Mm -hmm. That's a rule. That's a rule. If somebody's end up six or seven inches, all right. Right. I'm not going to strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. Swallow a camel. No. No mother should grab them. That's, that's not five. That's seven. Like they're going to measure them for a coffin. <laughs> That's right. We got better things to focus on. Yes. And that's getting your heart right. That's it. That's right. That's right. You don't grab a person to snatch them in the office to see if their hair real. 
We're going to preach against wigs. Amen. Like we're supposed to. That's right. And let God clean them up. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I ain't going to sit and meet with no sister and ask you, is your hair real? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to meet with no brother and say, is that your hair? No, I'm not. No. I'm going to preach God's word. The word. That's right. And if it's not your hair, hell will make it come off. That's right. Go ahead. Ye blind guides. Do you hear this? In Matthew 23 and verse 24. Ye blind guides with strain at a neck. Listen. Net. Go ahead. Blind guides. The bishops, their objective is mm -hmm. to take the control All right. away from the hands of God. Amen. That's right. And put it in their hands. That's right. God's objective is to leave the control into his hands. That's right. That's right. What do you mean? Just enforce scriptural law. Mm -hmm. And then let the people love and respect God enough and themselves enough to bow to that law. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Ye blind gods. I'm not trying to control nobody. No. I don't want to control you. No, no. If you claim you got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, you're supposed to be under the control of God and God's word. That's right. Let God control you. That's right. When God told you, God leads you. That's right. God will guide you into all truth. Yes, you will submit to leadership. Yeah. You will submit to the word. We're going to fight with you. That's right. That's right. You are doing willingly. Let every soul be so peaceful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are doing in a peaceable manner. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what the book says? In Romans 13 and 1, let every soul be subject. Let every soul. Every soul. Be subject unto the higher powers. Hmm? Amen. There are many people came to the church with their second wife and second husband. Mm -hmm. Come on, keep coming. That's right. You that are watching me now got your second wife. You and your second wife watching me. Mm -hmm. I see you. Amen. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Mm -hmm. Both of you got to repent. Both of you got to be baptized. Both of you got to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Then leave. That's right. Hmm? That won't change. That won't change. There are so many people have been coming to the church with their second wife. Pastor Jennings, I, I, I'm with my second wife. I, I want to get it right. I tell them, keep coming to church. Come on. That's right. Come on. Mm -hmm. Well, you, they should not come to church until they get it right. You can't get it right outside of church. Amen. Amen. You got to get it right by coming here. That's right. And being hammered with God's word. That's right. Get into they got the axes laid at the root. Laid at the root. They got to come where the axes being swung. Yes. Amen. Come now. What? Come now. Do you hear this? In Isaiah 1 and verse 18. Come when? Come now. Come later. Come now. now. When should that man bring his second wife? Now. Now. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. When should that man come out the bar to the church? Now. When should that homosexual come to the house of God? Now. What did the Holy Book say? Come now. Come now. And let us reason together, saith the Lord. Come on. That's right. We're going to reason with you with the scripture. That's right. I ain't going to pick on you. No, reason. The reason why some of you think I'm picking on you is because you're in sin. Mm -hmm. And what we're dealing with is against what you're in. That's it. So right away you say, that Pastor Jennings is mean. He don't like me. No. Mm -hmm. It's the word of God that's against you. Against you. That's right. That's right. That's why a lot of folk don't mind going to church on Sunday. They know most of the churches they go to, God law ain't be there. No. no. They even got what is called children's church. Wow. Mm. Children's church. Children's church. Mm. Some of the parishioners get dressed up like Sesame Street. My Lord. To help the children better understand the Bible. They get dressed like Big Bird, <laughs> that cookie monster. 
My lord. What is that? Use cartoons to lead people to Christ. My god. Use plays to lead people to Christ. That's mockery. That's mockery. Use the same method that the apostles used. That's right. Preach the word. Preach the word. Preach the word. Hmm? That's it. When he said, suffer little children, come unto me and give them a cookie monster? <laughs> no. No. No, no. Jesus didn't get dressed like Grover. Uh, no, he didn't. Did he do that? No, he didn't. Grover walking on water. <laughs> Can you imagine that? And Jesus called a little child. You churches, him. you're resorting to modern methods. Mm -hmm. And it's not winning nobody to Christ. No, it's not. Nobody. Nobody. It's just increasing your size congregation, but they're not coming to Christ. That's right. Jesus called a little child unto him. Do you hear that? In Matthew 18 and verse 2. Jesus, Jesus called a little child unto him, unto him and set him in the midst of them and said what and said verily I say unto you except ye be converted and become as little children ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven no I gotta put on a play to get the children except ye be converted and become as little children it's an insult mm -hmm. to have cartoons on television biblical cartoons biblical cartoons <laughs> That's an insult. That's right. A cartoon Jesus. That's right. That's right. Cartoon is fake. Mm -hmm. That's, right. That's right. That's right. Be not deceived. I see why the Islamic world mm -hmm. start raging That's right. when someone put out a cartoon about Muhammad. Muhammad, right? Because they knew a cartoon was misrepresentation. That's right. But you don't find the so-called Christians raging no. about a cartoon Jesus. No, no, no. How backward are you? That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. A cartoon Jesus. My Lord. A cartoon Moses. My Lord. A cartoon John. My Lord. A cartoon God. My Lord. God is not mine. Right, right. There's a sin That's right. for a child of God mm -hmm. to go buy a ticket to go to some so-called Christian play. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's religious mockery. That's right. That's right. When you say Christian in front of something, that means that event is Christ-like. Christ-like. It represents Christ. It's the actions of Christ. That's right. Nothing been added to it. Mm -hmm. Nothing, taken. Nothing been taken away from it. Away. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. No lies in that play. No lies are in there. That's true. Mm. The Bible is the script. Yeah. Now, if the Bible is the script, mm -hmm. who among the human family can play the role of Jesus? Play Jesus role. Oh. All right. That's right. Who? Who? Mm. Who can play the role of the perfect one? That's right. Mm. The Muslims raise mm -hmm. when they meet Muhammad a cartoon. Mm -hmm. Christians do opposite. Amen. They take their children to the play and to the theater. They go in there. Look at a cartoon Jesus. That's right. They don't rage. No. You know why? The devil blew the so-called Christian community to sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blew you to sleep, television viewer. That's right. You ought to be insulted. Mm -hmm. To turn a religious program on and there's a cartoon Jesus. Amen. A cartoon God. My Lord. Amen. Cartoon, cartoon. God is not mocked. Is not That's mocked. an insult. That's right. Be not and deceived. God that made the heavens and the earth, mm -hmm. and now he's been dwindled down to nothing but a cartoon. That's right. Jesus done come along and taught his apostles, mm -hmm. died on the cross for a bunch of sinful people, and he's been brought down okay. to a cartoon. That's right. Not to see And the so-called Christians don't see nothing wrong with it. No. You've been Americanized. Amen. We want to undo what the devil have done. They are drunken. Do you hear it? In Isaiah 29 and verse 9, they are drunken. You're drunk. They stagger. When it comes to the word of God, you're drunk. Drunk. Drunken. 
staggered. You're staggered. off balance. That's right. You're spiritually incoherent. Mm -hmm. You're delusional. Yes, that's a delusion. Glory to God. What did he say? Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunk. They are drunken. They are drunken, but not with wine. They're not drunken with wine. They stagger. They stagger. But not with strong but drink. But not with strong drink. For the Lord has poured out upon you the spirit of deep Did sleep. Did you hear that? Amen. Deep sleep. God got them unconscious. That's it. When you got the right spirit, there ain't no Christian plays in churches. No. no. Ain't nobody up here can play the role of Jesus. No, no way. No way. No Christmas play. No play. There was a big play that came out, I think it was in the late 60s or 70s. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Superstar. You remember that? Right. A musical. A musical. When they, Jesus was walking around participating in a musical. My Lord, my Lord. Mockery. That's it. Things that the so-called Christians don't say nothing about. Mm -hmm. But even the Muslims was insulted when they made a cartoon Muhammad. But you so-called Christians, That's right. you are buying a ticket to see a cartoon see. God. That's right. To see a fake God. That's right. You don't love Jesus. You don't love him. He said, if you love me, you are keep my commandments. That's right. There should not be no plays. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh no. No place. No place. No place. No place. No Christmas is around the corner. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. The devil is the reason for the season. That's right. Not God. Not God. That's right. Christmas is around the corner. Mm -hmm. And the preachers gonna have Christmas plays. Yes, they will. And tell that long lingering lie, this is Jesus' birthday. That's Liar. That's right. Pastor would get dressed up like he's Jesus. Mm -hmm. And his wife will act like she's Mary. That's right. One of the old diggers that act like he's Joseph. Joseph. My Lord, my Lord. Mockery. My people love to have it so. Do you hear? In Jeremiah 5 and verse uh, 31. I want to run to you, viewer. That's right. Run. Listen. My people love to have it so. Give the whole verse. Listen at this. The prophets prophesy. Give chapter and verse. Jeremiah chapter 5. We'll start at verse 30. All right. A wonderful and horrible thing. A wonderful and a horrible thing. Is committed in the land. That took place in the land. The prophets. The messengers. Prophesy falsely. Tell lies. And the priests. And they prophesy falsely mean their message didn't come from God. That's right. And the priest bear rule by their means. He made himself a preacher. Amen. That's right. And what? And my people love to have it so. God is talking. God is talking. Christians, love to have it. You hear what God said about you? The prophets prophesy falsely. And the priests bear the rule, priest by, bear rule by his means. And my people. And God's people. Love to have it so. You love to have it the wrong way. That's right. Love it. You love to have it the wrong way. That's right. You will support it. Mm -hmm. Let there be a play that somebody's supposed to be Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't care how large that place is. Right. They have lines all around the corner. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Going so far as getting dressed up like they Jesus carrying crosses My Lord. down the streets of Jerusalem. That's right. My Lord. Around Christmas time. That's right. Some of them carry crosses and then want another to beat them. Why can't you take this beating? Amen. That's right. That's right. They get dressed like they Jesus and walk down the streets of their neighborhood. Oh my God. Jesus ain't in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina walking down the street. No, no. No. But you'll find the churches here. Christmas come around, mm -hmm. Reeves all on the doors, dirty plastic mangers, and a bunch of sinners singing Christmas carols, Christmas carols. lying on his birthday. That's Amen. right. Come on, Sammy. This is his birthday. You're lying about That's it. Lie. That's right. That's right. You're telling a lie. That's right. Bible ain't said that's his birthday. No. no. You're lying on him about, about that birthday. This is a rebellious people. What kind? Rebellious people. That goes for any minister up here? Right. All right. That's right. Rebellious. 
There ain't no Christmas here. No Christmas for America. No Christmas for Africa. No Christmas for India. No Christmas for South America. No Christmas for Russia. No, nothing. Nothing. That's right. Go ahead, brother. No giving your gifts to no children. None of that. None of that. That's right. No Christmas seminar. No. That's right. Go ahead. Man. No tree in your house. No, no tree. tree in a church. No Christmas service. Amen. No Christmas dinner. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Watch the food, Pastor. Watch the food, Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Watch the food. Am I right? That's right. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. <laughs> If you didn't know no better, you're not held accountable. No. But now that you know, mm -hmm. you might as well give up them gifts. Mm -hmm. Pastor, what should I do if I bought the gifts? Take the receipt and take it back. Take it back. The book says, happy is the man that condemns not himself in the thing in which he allowed. That's right. You're not supposed to allow nothing you can be condemned by. Amen. I ain't going to lead people to Christ. For that Christmas tree, With you heathen. liar. That's right. Use a heathen. That's a heathen. That's, That's right. not a preacher. That's a heathen. heathen. And the book says, learn, learn not, the way, not the, the way of the heathen. Of the heathen. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. You preachers that's writing me from around the world, mm -hmm. telling me you want to be a part of First Church. Hmm. Come on. I'm not impressed. That's right. There's terms, lead. It's plain and simple. Yes. God's way mm -hmm. or no way. Or no way. That's right. No compromising. No compromising. They contact us from Malaysia. Mm -hmm. They contact us from Greece. Mm -hmm. That's right. Pakistan, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. Philippines. One law. One law. God's way or no way. Or no way. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not the way of Geno Jennings. No. God's way. Mm -hmm. Or no way. Well, Pastor Jennings, I, I'm scared to change my, my congregation to get upset. God's way. That's right. Or no way. Or no way. Well, if I change my wife and leave me. God's way. That's right. Or no way. The way of holiness. Well, if I change my wife said I got to be a eunuch. God's way. That's right. Or no way. That's right. If I don't change, my wife said, I, I, I can't have none. God way right. or no way. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you listening? That's right. Way of holiness. I don't care if your bed become Antarctica. That's right. It's God's way or no way. Amen. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. It's God's way. God's way. <laughs> or no way. That's right. I hear you. I hear you. When your wife yeah. can manipulate your preaching, <laughs> get out the pulpit. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Am I right, man? Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Hoorah. Hoorah. That's right. You preachers, Go ahead. Go ahead. when your wife mm -hmm. can manipulate the pulpit, Amen. you're good for nothing. That's right. Get out from up here. They that have wives be as though they had none. Do you hear the apostles' advice? In 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 29. But this I say, brother. This I say. This I say, brother. This I say, brother. The time is short. The time is short. It remains. It remains. That both they that have wives. You that got a wife. Be as though they had none. You got to live like they don't have none. That's right. When the word of God is preached, don't go passing it around pass to pass around. by your wife. Amen. If she's wrong, tell her she's wrong. That's right. That's your right. wife should not be calling the shots no. in the church. No, no. Preach it. Go ahead, brother. Your wife don't reprimand the folk in the church. That's right. You don't stop preaching because your wife give you the eye. No, no. No. That's right. They that have wives be as though they had none. If you're married, you got to preach like you don't have no wife. That's right. This I say, brother. Huh? 
That's right. He said, this I say, brethren. This I say, brethren. This I say, brethren. The time is short. This I say, brethren. This I say, brethren. Glory to God, the time is short. It remains. It remains. That both they that have wives. They that have wives. Be as though they had none. They that don't have none. That's right. Here it is time for you to preach. Go ahead. And your wife wants you to take, want you to take her to dinner. Go ahead. And you gotta struggle with a choice. Amen. Get out the pulpit. Get out the pulpit. Get out. That's right. Go ahead, brother. You gonna pass God word for chicken? For chicken. Amen. You gonna pass God word for ham? My Lord. For potatoes? My Lord. Get out the pulpit. Get out the pulpit. Am I right? That's right. That's right. This I say, brethren. This I say, brethren. The time is short. It's short. It remains, it remains that both they who have got wives, a wife be as though they had you none. You got to preach like you ain't got none. That's right. Go ahead. If you never touch your breast again, go ahead. Man. As a result of the message, go ahead. then live without it, go go it. or go to hell with it. That's right. Oh, ye priests, this either you're for God, mm -hmm. or you ain't fit to be a preacher. That's right. That's right. And you got these men. I think I want to try a ministry. They just got money in mind. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. And now, oh ye priests. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Amen. The wife should not be. Hey, you, you had a watching. You know what's going on in your church? The first lady. Go ahead. Your pastor wife. Mm -hmm. She dictate what's going on in the church. Right. Mm. Go ahead. Pastor wife ain't got nothing to dictate what's going on in the church. No. Don't let the pastor's wife be the treasurer. Mm. Go ahead. It's good teaching, brother. Don't let the pastor's wife be the treasurer. Amen. Let somebody else be. Somebody else be. Get some other members involved. That's right. And stop keeping the money in your family. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Am I right? Amen. Go ahead. Are you listening to the old man? But if you have respect of persons, ye commit sin. Go ahead, brother. I want to run to you. That's right. You're running. That's right. This is old fashioned church. Old fashioned. Mm. When it comes to the word of God, my wife knows she don't have no say so in the pulpit. That's right. And she knows she don't have no say so. This is off limits. That's right. She knows that's not her territory. Mm -hmm. This is off limits. Oh, yeah. The yellow tape is across it. The tape is up. That's right. <laughs> off limits. That's right. Out of bounds. This is out of bounds. Out of bounds. You men watching me, you got a PhD and a DD. Mm -hmm. But yet, a method that you use of luring mm -hmm. people in your church, mm -hmm. you get on television with your wife. That's right. That's right. The message, you shouldn't have to show off your wife no. to get people. No. Let the message bring them in. That's right. That's right. I ain't got to show off my wife to get nobody. No. If I got to do that, I'm going to have to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. And then the they word. ain't going to come for the word. They're going to come to see that wife. See the wife. That's true. Yeah. That's right. Preach the word. Listen at this. In 2 Timothy 4 and at verse 1. You first lady churches. Mm -hmm. I charge you people. Wake up. Yes. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah. My God, we're trying to give you some good Holy Ghost sins here. That's right. What is that? I charge thee therefore before God. What? And the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing at his kingdom. What was the advice of the apostle? Preach. Bring your wife. Preach the word. That's right. That's right. When you are preaching, you got to go labor in the word of God. If your wife can't go with you, you will go anyway. Amen. Preach it. Preach it. The wife can't be there, you will go. That's right. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Be as though they had none. The wife can't be there, you will go. Amen. Preach it. Mm. Wife say, well, you know, my mother want me, want you to come over to the house. Well, look, we got to be at church tonight. 
Well, let's go to church another time. That shouldn't come out the mouth of a holy woman. That's right. That should never come out the mouth of a holy woman. That's right. No, you go see your mother another time. Another time. You put God first and let him stay there. Amen. Go ahead. Always put God first. Go ahead, brother. Are you listening to me? Yes. Always put God first. That's right. Everything you got is because of God. Amen. He deserves your complete life Go ahead. and your complete commitment. That's right. When it comes to God, the whole world is a whole. That's right. Everything is a whole. Mm -hmm. Why? You're nothing but a sacrifice. That's all. That's all. And he said, present your body a living sacrifice. Living sacrifice. Hold it. Hmm. If you're fasting, brother, mm -hmm. and your wife wants you to lay to her, mm -hmm. wants you to lay with her, mm -hmm. you shouldn't break your fast. That's right. Go ahead. Shouldn't break your fast. That's true. For the matter, she looks so good, she's like a golden egg. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Shouldn't break your fast. That ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer. The word say give yourself to it. That's right. And if she's a holy woman and got the right spirit, she'll respect your fast. Yeah. Mm. Won't tempt you. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Go ahead. She see that you're fasting, mm. she keep Victoria's secret in the drawer. Right. Right. Amen. Then when your fast is over, ooh, whip it out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah? That's right. Whip it out, I say. Amen. Oh, thank God. Amen. You get what I'm telling you? Go ahead. Give yourselves a fast. There's a time and a season. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Give me the third chapter of the book of Ecclesiastes. Yeah. I want to run to you, Mira. Yes. I want to teach you something. Listen, you might as well stay home because you're having church now. That's right. You might as well stay home. Oh, that God, this is the greater thing. Listen at this. In Listen at Solomon. In Ecclesiastes 3 and at verse 1. To everything there is a season. To everything. Everything. There is a, a season. And a time. And a time to every purpose under the heaven Jesus said render to Caesar the things that are that Caesar are and render to God the things that are God that are God's that's right there's a time mm -hmm. a time to embrace what a time to embrace and what else and a time to refrain from no when to let go that's right mm -hmm. amen Amen. Time to embrace. That's right. Like time to refrain. Refrain. Mm -hmm. A time to get. A time to get. And a time to lose. <laughs> There's a time to get your wife. <laughs> That's right. And a time you got to lose what you get. That's right. Got to go without it at times. Yeah. A time to keep. <laughs> time to keep. And a time to cast away. And a time you got to reject it. That's right. Hmm. Mm. God, you brother getting dressed for church? Mm -hmm. Go to the house of God, even if you're not a preacher. That's right. And your wife don't feel like going? Mm -hmm. You go. That's right. You shouldn't be so weak that you say, well, I need, I need you to go, baby, so I can feel that support. Support. Your dedication should be towards God, mm -hmm. whether she go or not. That's you right. automatically going. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Huh? Go ahead. My wife know because I she she don't she's not in most of the places I'm going. She can. not I got seven kids and I'm traveling around the world. Mm -hmm. Imagine if I was the type of man. Well, you know, I really need you to be there so I can have that support. That's right. What about God? Mm -hmm. A person being there don't mean you got they, they, you got their support. No. You can have a person support fasting and praying for you way somewhere else. That's right. More than a person sitting right in your face. That's right. God, as long as you're fasting and praying for the old man, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. When you're able to be there, fine. When you're not, all right, I got to go. That's I right. I got the checker flag been waving. I'm off. Amen. I got to go. Mm -hmm. Hmm? To everything there is a season. When we send brothers somewhere, many times their wife won't be there with them. Amen. Send a brother somewhere to go minister. Why would a brother shouldn't call me a pastor? Listen, I can't go. I got to take my wife out to dinner. Huh? 
Huh? I gotta take my wife out. What? And Bayrex said unto her, Wait a minute, you can't go. Yeah, man, listen. Man, listen, you don't know my wife. If I don't take her out that day, I'm telling you, she'll never let me live it down. What about God? That's right. What about God? True. They fear the wife more than they do God. That's true. That's true. In Judges chapter I want to take my time and soak it. Amen. In Judges chapter 4. Getting hot up here. Yes. That's right. It's getting hot up here. Amen. Turn it up. I want to turn up the heat. Turn it up. Glory to God. That's right. Listen. In Judges chapter 4 and at verse 8. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Listen, get chapter verse again. Judges chapter 4 and at verse 8. What is it? And Barak said unto her. Barak said to her. If thou wilt go with me. If you go with me. Then I will go. Then I will go. But if thou wilt not go with me. And if you won't go with me. Then I will not go. That's the spirit of Barak. That's right. You go with me, I'll go. Amen. Honey, you going to church tonight? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going. Uh, man. I really was looking for you to go tonight. <laughs> Honey, I'm, I'm tired. I don't feel like I, I, I'm exhausted. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Man. Why in the world are you distraught? <laughs> distraught. Get washed, get your clothes on, and get out of there. Get out of here. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead. Huh? That's right. Glory to God. If thou wilt go with me, if you will go with me, then I will go. Then I'll go. But if thou will not go with me, <laughs> then I will not go. You see, everything can't be a preacher. No. No. That's right. Everything can't be a preacher. No way. It's more than standing behind this block of wood, wood. and saying words. <laughs> That's right. Lord, it take God is more than that. More than Pay that. attention, viewer. Mm -hmm. okay. How you read, I'm running to you. Running to you. Just like Philip ran to the unit because you're reading. That's right. You're reading and you're not understanding. And if the preachers understood the junk that is going on freely that he allowed, mm -hmm. he would not allow it. That's right. There wouldn't be a first lady in your congregation. No. No, no. Uh, I hope none of the brothers' wives dictating the churches in the area. No, sir. No, sir. Amen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Your wife can't even reprove none of the men in the church. That's right. Not a place. Not, not a, mm. If the pastor wife, if the minister wife get wrong openly, mm -hmm. he is to chastise her Open. openly. Openly. That's right. If he can't chastise her openly, mm -hmm. when she got wrong openly, don't you bother nobody else. Nobody else. That's right. Don't you bother nobody else. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Even the mothers in the church yeah. mm -hmm. got the right to correct the preacher's wife if she wrong. That's right. If she get wrong, the mothers can pull her to the side. That's right. Hey, sister. Mm -hmm. Sister. Amen. Blah, blah, blah. Yak it, smack it, blah, blah, blah. That's right. Yak it, smack it. Yeah. That's right. Doesn't matter if she's a she's... minister's wife. Mm hmm. That doesn't matter. Huh? That's right. Don't matter at all. The age women likewise. Did you hear the book? In Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. The age women. Likewise. Likewise. That they be in behavior. That as they behave. Holiness. Now before the mothers can give correction, you know how to act. You know how to act. Don't you be walking around smelling like rum That's and right. whiskey. That's right. Drinking vodka and orange juice. Mm hmm that's right. Huh? Amen. Don't you be saying we're casting ancient spells, <laughs> working in black magic. Yeah. And you claim you are mother in the church. Amen. You're the child of hell. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, brother. I want this to be good for you that are watching in Jamaica and listening to our Africa. Amen. Where black magic is an all time oh, high. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead. What is it? The age women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. What? Not false accusers. Not false accusers. Not given to much wine. Not given to much wine. Teachers of good things. What you mean not too much wine? All you got to do is go to the book where 
And they use wine. Use wine. It says wine is a market strong drink is raging yes. and he that is deceived thereby is not wise. That's right. Uh, if you got a stomach condition it says drink no longer water but use a little. A little wine. A little wine for the stomach sake. Mm-hmm. Then wine is used in Lord's Supper. That's right. Otherwise than that wine is not used. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. A little wine. A fifth is not a little. A fifth. A quart is not a little. That's not a little. Your wine shouldn't be in the brown paper bag. No. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want this to be good for you apostolic drunks Drunks. that are watching. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Come on, son. Not giving too much wine. Not giving too much wine. Teach us of good things. Teach us. Now, the mothers or the aged women teach good things. Who, who are they supposed to teach? That they may teach the young women. There it is. Mm-hmm. Young women. Young women don't give the mothers back talk word for word. No. Listen at what the young women got to say as got to listen at what the mothers got to say. That's right. That's right. Mothers shouldn't go by hearsay. No. No. And then jump the gun. Mm-hmm. And if a sister go and confide in you, don't broadcast their business. All right. Amen. Otherwise, than that, they lose confidence in you. That's right. That's right. This is old-fashioned holiness. Oh yes. Do what? That they may teach the young women how to be what? To be sober. Be stable-minded. To love their husbands. Love the husbands. Well, you teach a young woman that who don't know it. Who don't know it. A young woman already know it. She don't need that teaching. That's right. Because she know it already. That's right. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. What else? To love their children. Love their children. To and admit mm-hmm. some love with your children that bring in discipline. That's right. Correction. Mm-hmm. Discipline and correction. That's right. Tell them what is right, yeah. what is not right. Mm-hmm. Lay down law to them, and the mother got the right to expect for them to obey it. That's right. Amen. Children don't want to obey their parents. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be under that roof. You shouldn't be under there. You should be on your own. Right. Amen. Have your own roof. Yeah. Then make your own law. That's right. Otherwise, the next you got to obey. Got to obey. God promised you long life under one law. Mm-hmm. You honor your father and mother. That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Fathers, don't trash talk your wife to your children. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Wife, don't trash talk your husband to your children. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. To love their children. To love your children. To be discreet. Be discreet. Chase. Clean. Keepers at home. Be a clean woman. Mm-hmm. Know how to keep your house. Good. Be good. That's right. Huh? That's right. A good woman. Mm-hmm. When you're a good woman, everybody don't appreciate a good woman. No. Mm-mm. No, every man don't appreciate a good woman. Every woman don't appreciate a good man. That's right. Many of those things are abused and misused. Yeah. Read quick so I can quit. Obedient to their own husband. And what? That the word of God be not blasphemed. It says obedient to who? Their own husband. Well, hold it. Their own. Hold it. Yeah. Hold it. Amen. Because one scripture says, husbands, mm-hmm. cause not your wife to sin. To sin. That's right. But yet it says obedient to who? To their own husband. Oh, they're telling us something wrong. That's right. That's right. Then they're going to cause her to sin. Cause her to sin. That's right. You ain't got to sin for nobody. No. Hmm? That's what I mean by right dividing. Yeah. The word of truth. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? Amen. Right to make your scriptures harmonize. Yes. It says what? Obedient to their own husbands. Wait a minute. Husband may want you to wish them Harry Krishna. Right. Husband now may want you to be a Buddhist. That's right. Hmm. Well, if you got a second husband, you ain't got to obey him at all. Amen. He's not your husband. As long as your first husband living. That's right. It says what now? Obedient to your own husband. But suppose the husband may be a sinner and want her to go someplace that's unrighteous. Mm. To a party. To a club. That's true. 
So you got a right to buy this. That's right. Before someone jump up, obeying all things, mean obeying all things. Wait a minute. Amen. And a right divided because God is a God of righteousness. That's right. That's right. And it reckon husbands mm -hmm. cause not your wife to sin. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Pay attention. Pay attention. Husband may want you to get him some beer. Mm -hmm. Husband may want you to roll him some weed. Yeah. <laughs> Husband may want you to heat up his crack pipe. Mm -hmm. Husband may want you to stash that dope money. That's right. Husband may, may want you to call in at the job and say, I'm sick. And he ain't. Mm -hmm. Husband may want you to cheat on the income tax form. That's right. But the book says, That's obedient to their own husbands. <laughs> see what I mean? You just can't quote the scripture and leave it like that. Leave it like that. You got to split the atom and see what kind of molecules is in there. That's right. That's the big That's the Do what? Obedient to their own husbands. Husband may want them to help them hot wire a car. That's right. Husband may want her to be the lookout while he breaking somebody's house. Amen. Mm. Do you see what I'm telling you? That's true. Quotation. Without divine interpretation. Yeah. You will end up with damnation. That's right. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters.